hello you guys welcome back to the channel okay so this is for uh Aries how are you guys doing Aries <laughs> I kind of like forgot who this video was for all right so Aries we're gonna jump into your energy and see what's going on with the person on your mind so if this does resonate remember to like this video give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel now if it doesn't resonate I will have a playlist linked below for you and also guys Go over to the Instagram if you want to support the cause, okay? As soon as we hit the 5K mark, we're going to start those free personal readings live on the Instagram. All right, so everything should be below in a description. I'm seeing the Nine of Wands here. That's coming out for you that wants to be seen. I'm feeling like you keep wanting to like hold something together or force him to fight. Fight for something here. Being protective over something. You're not ready to let this go. And I feel like both of you... Or in this energy okay whoever you're thinking about they're both in this energy feeling the same way like they don't want to let this go so what is this about angels what are we dealing with okay we have the page of Pentacles for Aries we have the ace of swords Wow, so there's a Capricorn Virgo Taurus energy coming out here. Someone very stubborn. I feel like this person is just now getting on their feet when it comes to financial or stability situations, okay? Now, this person has learned from all their mistakes. This is what I'm being told here by the Ace of Swords being here. So it's going to be some kind of breakthrough within this person, some kind of realization. I feel like this person is coming to you to tell you the truth. Or share a little bit more, be a little bit more open, give you that clarity that you've been missing in this relationship, okay? So tell me more. Okay, Aries. Wow, Leo energy. I feel like they want to live in bliss with you. They think of you as the sun. So you're like this breath of fresh air. Look at this, the nine of pentacles. You know, very independent. They really value your energy, okay? And they really look up to that and they're learning from that. I feel like you are on a higher level of vibration from this person because this person is coming off as someone that is still learning and experiencing things in the page of pentacles, okay? And I feel like because of this, um, you know, imbalancement here, you know, this relationship is going through their trials and tribulations, okay? Because you're on a higher vibration. This person is on a lower vibration, so it's not coming together. So, of course, you're going through this um, conflict, you know, over and over, a lot of experiences together, and it's burning you out. You know, you're tired. You want a change here, but you're going to get it because the Ace of Swords is here, all right? Tell me more. I feel like you're also taking back your power. You're a very powerful person. This is what I'm seeing here. You see how this person is making steps towards you? Oh, wow. The Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. There's some forgiveness here. Some letting go. This is what I'm seeing. Okay. I feel like a lot of you were going through this mental or physical challenge with this energy. Feeling like you are tied up or can't move. Feeling like, you know what? You're stuck into your mind. But I feel like you're letting a lot of things go. I'm seeing you forgiving this person. This person is coming towards you with a better offer as well. Okay. Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus energy. And they're coming towards you with a better offer. It doesn't have to be when I say these elements, but this these elements are coming through. You know, those personalities are coming through. Um, this is how this person vibes with these elements. But we also have Leo here, so keep that in mind as well with the major energy. All right, tell me more. So I feel like this person is coming through with a better offer, especially financial. I feel like, you know, they can stand on their own two feet and they want to share this with you. I'm seeing the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this person really appreciate everything that you have shown them, you know, everything that you have taught them. Ooh, tell me more. Oh, there we have a whole bunch of messages coming through here. Okay. Okay, so we have 
you're still open to this person, you know, even though it appears to be that you're going through so much, which is understandable, but you're actually so forgiven. And I feel like this is going to uh, like vibrate a new beginning and a new um, chance between you and this person. I feel like whatever um, situations you guys are in, it's not going to last when with this person staying away for any for a period of time because I'm seeing this person actually reaching out to you. So look out for that, okay? And with this Ace of Swords, they're really, really ready to make have this breakthrough with you. They're not like, you know, really stuck in the past or, you know, not learning from this situation or this experience. They've learned, they got it. They know that they want a breakthrough. They want clarity. They want a new beginning here, okay? Also in the Ace of Swords. So look out for this person's energy. I feel like they're going to be ready to invest now. This person is coming off a little bit scared or self-esteem might be a little bit off because they're waiting for you to make the first move in the hangman here in Pisces energy. I feel like, you know, they could play this stupid game with you. Like, you know, want you to take responsibility of certain things and then they will jump into taking responsibility as well. They just don't want to get blamed for the whole relationship going south. This is what I'm seeing here, but you're very nurturing and open. So I feel like um, you're both in this place of trying to understand each other. You know, you're not trying to blame this person or point fingers with everything because, you know, um, not that this is your fault in any way, but you're saying to yourself that I know I'm not perfect, so I can take responsibility and I could be a big adult and take responsibility of my own flaws in this connection and what really happened. So that's no problem. And this is how you're showing up here into this reading. It's like you're very nurturing, kind, and you just want to see things bloom just in the sun, just in the Queen of Wands. And you want to see process, okay? And I feel like this person that's coming to you, they also want to see things move forward between you. So there's going to be a huge decision for you and this person. This is what I'm seeing here. I feel like you're going to get some kind of clarity and facts from this Ace of Swords. We know this new breakthrough, this clarification that's coming towards you to help you to make some kind of peace with this. Because, you know, you can't move on without it. I'm seeing your... Your energy, well, this is not your energy, but I'm seeing Scorpio energy here, Aries, where you're trying to definitely get this information so you can be ready to move forward. You know, so you can actually learn from this yourself and move in and, and take that which, that you have learned and move forward in your life. So this is what I'm seeing for you. I'm also seeing the Six of Swords here. Okay. I'm seeing an apology. This is what you don't see coming, by the way. Ooh, okay. Let me just be nosy. So you're going to go, it's like you're going through the test of time with this person. I'm seeing like you and this person is going through some break, like some heartbreak, some disappointments, you know, losing faith and hope within this relationship, not knowing where it's going to really go. But I feel like with all of that, with all of that healing that you're going through, this person is going to be coming to you because they still want this future or abundance with you. There's a huge apology coming towards you as soon as you're moving on from this relationship or try to move out. So this person is going to stop you or block you from moving on. Um, they want to at least try, you know, give you that, you know, um, option if you want to really continue to work at this. Because again, your first card is the nine of wands. You both don't want to give up on this. This is like you're still being protective over this relationship, okay? All right, so we're going to incorporate some energy here. I'm going to definitely use the energy deck. I feel like there's a storm coming for those of you who you need to hear this. Okay, it's coming. This is always going to be here, this nine of wands. You're, you're, this person is going to go through so many things because, again, the vibration is just not together you know it's like you're teaching this person so of course they're going to be stubborn of course they're going to be you know doing things that you didn't tell them to do you're trying to make sure that they're successful in life and they're thinking that you're being bossy okay and trying to control them they can't they don't like to be controlled okay <clears throat> All right, so I'm seeing Pisces here in Gemini energy for those of you in the Wheel of Fortune, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio energy. I'm also seeing Scorpio energy again in the death, okay? For those of you who are with this energy, even Leo, okay? Again, coming up twice here in the sun. So keep that in mind, you guys. Wow, walking away, but not really sure. So you're not ready. You're not ready to move on from this relationship. No secret there with the Nine of Wands. You're both not ready. You know, there, there is this like, 
garden and the gate you're ready here you're looking out there wondering what's going on out there but you're not you're really comfortable where you are it's like really hard for you to i feel like some of you have been in a relationship with this person for a long time and it's like very slow process this is what i'm hearing and it's like you want to see an adventure at what's out there for you but you're just not sure um just like walking away you're just not sure so if you're not sure don't do it aries just don't <laughs> Look at that. I'm shuffling and we got the garden in the gate again. Wow. So it's definitely meant to be here. The angels want to point that out. I feel like you are curious. This is what I'm seeing. Like you are curious to see what's out there for you. Kind of feel kind of bored in this relationship. Okay. Door to romance is also open. This is what I'm seeing here. And... Ooh, contract. Be careful what you sign, you guys. This is what I'm hearing. A lot of you might be in some kind of a uh, committed relationship. I'm not seeing marriage here, but I'm seeing like a lot of you could live together with the 1111. Okay, that was showing up. Because that's your home. Like this person is looking at you as their home. Then we have the queen, the woman holding a pentacles here. This would be man or woman. Um, this is just a feminine energy, you guys. So you could be a man with a feminine energy. Um, that just means that you're very entwined with your emotions or you're not afraid, you know? You don't come off very harsh and you just, you know, you're not afraid to, sh to shed a tear. You know what I mean? To show that tear, you know? And to cry when you watch a sad movie. You're just not afraid. <laughs> and I feel like there's a lot of healing that's going on here. And also we have men holding a heart. So feminine and... And masculine energy is also coming out here. We have your angel as well. Love and compassion. Someone that is a water sign is coming towards you. So this is confirmed. Door to romance. The um, angel um, Raphael is also here with loving someone. Compassion coming towards you. A new love opportunity. There is, you know, a feminine and a masculine. Well, masculine and feminine energy coming towards Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And it, well, no, this is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And this is Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Okay. So someone that is very um, capable of taking care of themselves and you. And someone that definitely has their heart on their sleeves. Okay. So healer of all ages is coming through as well. Patience, divine timing, things that need to happen on their time. And so it's not going to work. So I'm hearing you need to take care of yourself, focus on yourself, and make sure that you're ready for what's coming, okay? And then we have the door to spirit as well. A lot of you need to connect because the door to spirit is open. A lot of you are really like praying and manifesting and, and using this, pray, this, this, this moment to actually get close to the universe, so that is good. But for those of you who are not, this is the time to do so. That's what the angels are saying, okay? This is what I have for you, Aries, today. I hope that it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. There's going to be a huge shift coming towards you with this apology, okay? Whoever this is, they want a new beginning with you. And they're going to try. They're going to try, even though you feel like, you know, you're stuck in this moment. So love you guys, and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.